first off, guys, congratulations on your new film and thank you for your time. I appreciate it. Thank you. I appreciate so, your time. Julia, I thought you were fantastic as Amanda. And uh, I wanted to ask you how challenging or fun was it to look for a way to channel the complexity of the humanity of the character and her com uh, moral compass? Mm. Uh, and is there a little bit of Julia in Amanda or vice versa? Um, we look alike. <laughs> that's, a, that's about it. Yeah. Um, I mean, I think she was complicated and obviously a flawed person, as we all have our different flaws. But um, I loved the playing a person like that um, in the context of this story. I think she's a really critical aspect of the world to bring into this scenario. I love the marriage that she has with this sort of more trusting, relaxed, um, laid back, super <laughs> laid back guy. And that, you know, Mahershal and I were doing an interview this morning and I was saying without Ethan and the way that he portrayed Clay, none of the other characters work. Yeah. They just fall. And so it's great to play Amanda within this little chessboard. Um, it becomes really profound what she's representing. And you're fantastic. It translates on screen. Thank you. Ethan, based off, the, off of that, uh, this this film, you know, got the thrills and you don't know what to expect and the suspense, but you could actually also say that it's like a disaster film, but not the ones we're accustomed for, like, you know, explosions and CGI and stuff. So I want to ask you, was this something that attracted you to the role? And stay with me with this one. Uh, would you say that Clay is also a disaster in some ways in the film? I would say that Clay is a disaster, <laughs> yes. I would, but I, you're putting your finger on what I love most about the movie. Is we've seen a lot of disaster movies that deal with geopolitical situations. Yeah. And you're seeing the president call in to this thing. And you're mm. seeing the general drive over here and the activist fighting their thing. And, and this is what... It feels like to be a human being, a member of society, when things are happening beyond your control and you don't know what information you're getting is accurate. And, you know, you study history and so that's what, when people live through these situations, they don't have all the information. Mm -hmm. And so they're just responding to any given yeah, yeah. thing that's right in front of them. And that's what made it fun to play and made it easier to play because it felt real. Yeah. It's just like, if this were to happen, I wouldn't know what was going on. And so I would just be trying to get a newspaper or trying to get my kids some sandwiches. I was watching the film. I was like, Ethan, why are you like doing stuff for like Julia? What's going on, man? Well, I'll, I'll do anything for <laughs> Julia. I'm kidding. Before wrapping, wrapping up, I want to ask you quickly, if this really like happened, this situation, which of your characters from your filmography do you think are best suited for this situation and probably will make it, Julia? Um, gosh, did I ever play a doctor? I did play a doctor. Conspir said, conspiracy theory? I, okay. Oh, conspiracy theory. You can go with that. Yeah, she, she might be able to manage this. That might work. <laughs> Yeah. Well, I have one character that <laughs> makes it an easy answer, which is, you know, John Brown kind of uh, would, would handle the end of the world just fine. Okay. He was always in dialogue with his maker anyway. He's happy, uh, happy to return. Yeah. Uh, so, guys, again, thank you for your time. I appreciate it. And uh, happy holidays. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, I want to yeah. thank you also for uh, entertaining me and inspiring me through the years for your um, amazing work. Really. Thanks. Thank you. That's really generous. That's so nice. Thank you. Aww. Happy holidays. Thank you. Thank you.